Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We continue where we left off the last time. We have arrived in uh, April of year 6. Uh, this is what we can sell uh, in April. The clothing is a little bit better in the farm shop, but I think we're going to drive over the uh, sell everything. A little bit easier. And the rest of the stuff uh, goes in here, so why not? It's a lot of money that we get here. As you can see. Uh, that's a good thing. There we go. That was a total of 540,000. Yes, yeah, some close, close to that. I already sold uh, the iron ore. That was left over. That was almost 110,000. So yeah, we uh, made a nice little amount of money here. Let's remove this. We have to uh, bring the manure and the slurry into here. So that can keep going. Uh, I completed the olive and the grapes field. They are now uh, completely full. I think 53 or 54 rows, something like that. With a little change uh, at them. I uh, removed the top row of the olives and put it on the bottom, so to speak, of on the south side and put another uh, grapes uh, row in, so they are now uh, equal amounts. And we have to check for our animal food. I see that the sheep no longer have uh, a bale of grass available. Something we might want to address, but let's uh, see first. I checked that we don't have uh, grass yet to be mowed isn't ready i can show you i was a little bit surprised i thought it would be ready but if i check here we do need uh, some uh, weed control here but look at that ready to harvest this is our grass field it's not ready yet unfortunately this is uh all oil seed radish uh this one this one this one is for the new crops the red pea the carrots and the parsnip then we have a field for the soybeans a field for the corn and a field for the sorghum so yeah these needs to be uh, cultivated so let's see what we should do first let's uh, disconnect you no oh that's connecting let's try disconnecting there we go uh, you can stay here for now let me see yeah you could do some i think you can do some seeding if i'm not mistaken oh, what's uh well that's not anything interesting let me see the planter for the soybeans or the cedar doesn't matter too much which one we pick 300 horsepower and 300 so they're both oh that's no uh wait a minute they're both the same of course da da uh back uh, the planter do you need yeah that's 350 so we can pick the cedar for uh, doing that and then we can set the, the big boys to work with uh, the disc arrows because they also need around 360 if I'm not mistaken let's uh, pick up the cedar we have two cedars one planter two disc arrows so, yeah we have a lot of stuff already unlocked an uh, achievement for that uh, first let's fill it that might help otherwise we ain't gonna get really far so let's do that uh, i can show you maybe a little bit about the fields here uh, i'm a little bit surprised to see this here going on how is that performing over here okay maybe i still i uh, rebought the, the the info here the field info after i finished i uh, removed all the uh, the access that we had maybe it still does want to work with i'm not sure we could uh, check that out of course we do have the small one available well, you know what, uh, you can disconnect for now. 
and first pick up the disc hero and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with uh, the digi state maybe I'm going to use it before we see it I think that's normally the case I'm not 100% sure but I just apply a small amount if we set uh, set it to off it should be fine I need that disc hero for you and also for the other one so let's uh, pick those up I also changed my uh, Landini for a um, Fant because the Landini was a manual transmission and the Fant has an uh, what is it a CVE or something like that if I'm not mistaken so it uh, performs a little bit better to be honest I'm not even sure what it's called exactly uh, the CVT, okay, uh, the variable transmission, continuous variable transmission or something like that. And that's not something our uh, Landini had, so I uh, swapped it out. Got the money back for the Landini. But the event was a little bit more expensive and I'm driving uh, in circles and I need to go somewhere else. So let's do that. Uh, let's go here. We need to check our food for the animals. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we need to do. I uh, thought that uh, this would be ready, but apparently not. So we have a lot of uh, cultivating to do. That's okay. I think I'm gonna start here. We at the, the sorghum field. We have a separate uh, cedar for that one, so that's not a problem. We have two cedars. So let me see. Uh, the course. Uh, you want to be at zero now, north south instead of east west. There we go. Good enough. That's one. Where is the other one? You could be... Oh, this fertilizer what you have. You need to have uh, herbicide. So let's do that first. And there were two fields, so I have to check which one. And it seems that the olives and the uh, grapes uh, don't have herbicide yet, so that's good. Or don't need herbicide yet, I have to say. Yeah, that's a lot of uh, fertilizer. But that's okay. Let's uh, pick up the other one. Now, I do have a weight on this one, but I think it's a little bit big for such a small tractor, to be honest. I'm not too sure about it. It does help. It stabilizes uh, it definitely, but that's uh, it looks a little bit silly in my uh, my opinion. And also, the the vent has a smaller turning radius. It can easily a uh, little bit easier turn from one row to another. If you have to skip one row, it exactly fits. So that's also a little bit better. Uh, let me see, which ones did we need? Uh, okay, this is the so, uh, sunflowers. Add the oat. Okay, sunflowers. Oh, sunflowers is to our right here. Let's start with that. I think I'm gonna start uh, down here. That might be the best option. Is this the 660? Yeah, this is the smallest uh, normal tractor we have. Okay. Uh, 90 has to go to. There we go. Uh, generate. Are you at the right spot? Well, basically, you know what uh, I'm going to do 
this. I'm not gonna start there. That's a little bit ridiculous. So I'm gonna set you at the near, uh, nearest waypoint. There we go. I'm gonna move over a little bit here. That should do it. We do have uh, that position stuff, so it's not really a problem. And you're gonna start simply now. There we go. That should do it. That's better. Okay, shouldn't have any problems here anymore. Next uh, tractor. Where are you? Uh, you? You, yes. You need a disc harrow and do the beet fields, red beet, carrot and parsnip fields. That's this one over here. Oh, I haven't moved uh, the wood chips yet. I did uh, refill last month uh, the sawmills. So they should be should uh, they uh, they should be good to go. They should be should no they should be good. And then we're gonna have a look at our uh, our grapes and our olives. How are they doing? We should be able to put you to work here. Of course, you're at 90 degrees. That's good. How many headlands? Two? Yeah, that's uh, good enough. Oh, you need to be a little bit more into the field. Something like this. Good enough. There you can go. That's basically all our tractors uh, on the run. Now we need our little new fence. Where are you? There you are. So let's see if we need to apply another uh, load of fertilizer. And see if we can do anything at all with precision farming because it does show on the map. But last time we did something, it didn't want to do anything at all. I also need to check if it needs to be mulched. It has a little row that said it needs to be plowed, but well, I guess we leave that as it is. That's just on the outside. So, okay, there we go. We got blue again. Yeah, okay. For a moment, I thought we would have it, but apparently not. And I don't think that course play wants to do anything here. We can try it again. First waypoint, uh, no course. It does show me this, although it's not on the vine. We are okay. Well, in this case. Let's move over because we don't want to be here. We want to be one further. How are our trees doing, by the way? How big are they? Uh, still 25.5 meters. Okay. Uh, let's see what it does. If I do this would be a little bit silly if all of a sudden course play now would work but on the vine no right side of the vine left side of the vine well we are on the left side of the vine we want uh, one row to skip but it doesn't do anything it doesn't generate a course as far as i can see no yeah only one here so that's still a little bit of a miracle not sure what's going on there. It says it had created a, a well. Let's. Yeah, you don't basically do anything. It picks up the uh, 
this however which is a little bit strange but what also works is simply this uh, do I need to mulch the field? That's the question. Yeah, that's exactly the middle as you can see. On both sides we have that uh, blue one on the on the sticks. Uh, let's have a look. Do we need anything at all here when it comes down to... It says a little bit of plowing, but it doesn't need mulching. Oh, it is mulched. But mulching is after, yeah, I think we don't need it yet. Yeah, it gives one small line of plowing here, but that's, uh, okay, weeds. No, so we don't have to do anything special. Only the, uh, the fertilizer here needs to be a little bit more applied, it seems. I have no idea why this one doesn't then pick that up. No values detected. Hmm. Very odd. Okay. Simply do this. That works. I see. Now this is a mod, it could be the fact that this is a mod that it doesn't work exactly well with course play. Can't uh, rule that out. Maybe we should change it for the uh, for the normal one since uh, this doesn't seem to apply. The, uh, Yeah, and now I can simply turn here. Side turn and we are immediately at the right row here. So that's good. There we go. Like I say, it probably uh, it doesn't uh, apply at grapes and olives, the uh, position farming. Now, we do get some stuff in here. It looks as something is growing, so it might not be bad to, to mulch this, I think. I could be wrong, but... but... I think you don't get grapes the first year, don't you? Yeah. So we're probably never gonna get that far at harvesting grapes, although you never know. Maybe we do. Because I'm thinking about rounding up this... Uh, this map try to do something else this is goes a little bit quicker since you are immediately at the right spot here don't need very much uh, fertilizer we used under one third uh, for both fields the last time I didn't refill or whatsoever so uh, but yeah this is a nice steady uh, go and at least the dark blue gives us uh, something. They should grow perfectly. Now it does make sense that uh, precision farming doesn't work on grapes and olives. Because the game itself doesn't have the equipment for that. Not for the uh, spraying, at least, of the fertilizer, so it's not that strange. What is strange is that course play doesn't work, but that might be due to the fact that course play maybe registers that this is a uh, precision farming sprayer. Could be. Can't rule that out completely. But my best guess is that it's simply the map that doesn't support course play on these fields. Because I've seen them uh, on YouTube on, on other fields. Basically the fields that are uh, standard with the game and it simply uh, worked. But 
Now those were videos of a few years back. That's fact, of course, but guess that once it works, it keeps working. And also on the uh, the help side of uh, course play on the internet, it uh, talks about fines, uh, setting up uh, that kind of stuff. So and as far as I can tell, I don't do anything wrong. So must be something like that. But it's a little bit of a shame that uh, this can't be done by a worker. That would make it so much uh, easier. And also nicer because I think at the end I'm going to stop and see how the other one, uh, how the other workers are doing. Not going to stay all the time with uh, this one over here. Probably going to do it out. Uh, off camera. Uh, wait, you needed to. Almost forgot it. You need to uh, plant soybeans. And you shouldn't need any fertilizer. And we might also want to check uh, the manure and that kind of stuff. Yeah, let's uh, go for that. We need to go to that field. Not sure what we have here on the left side. Man, we have so much stuff. Okay. Do it here. This field is basically depleted of any uh, fertilizer and it shouldn't need any. Or almost nothing. So uh, you go to the full length. There we go. Yeah, two is fine. This works fine. Oh, you can be a little bit further inside the field. Okay. Wages paid. Yeah, it's nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah, look at that. It doesn't need any uh, fertilizer whatsoever. So this is going to be a soybean field and we ain't going to do anything with it. Good. Um, you're doing fine. Excellent. Oh, I could uh, do this, of course. Yep. That's 4,600 liters. That's a little bit too much to do it in one go. So the other one uh, picked up a little bit later. Because there's probably the same amount over there. But I can only scoop up 8,000 liters. So yeah. Doesn't make much sense to go there first. Then go back and then bring it uh, the last few hundred liters here. Let's do it like this. liters yep there we go wood chips being cleared out uh, let's uh, pick up the manure and uh, 
slurry and bring it to uh, the BGA. That's far enough. Let's move here. If the truck is nearby. Let's see, where do we have our... Uh, slurry tanker over here. I think I'm going to remove those slurry pits. Uh, they don't add anything at all. We can try to empty this. And then simply... Uh, because it doesn't collect all of it. Slurry, okay, there's... Uh, Wait. The selected silo is empty. Start. Oh, there we go. Uh, now it should be empty. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that one. Yep, there we go. Don't need it. I'm gonna empty the rest of the pits down here well you're basically empty so you're probably the one that built everything wouldn't be surprised but it gives a little bit more room for all the stuff now we do need that other one that manure pit that's necessary otherwise uh... there we go I would expect, if I expected, that all the slurry would be uh, gathered into that pit that we had here. But it didn't. Only from one stable and the rest uh, kept its own. So yeah, then why should we keep it? So 6,700 liters. Okay. Same goes for this one over here. So we empty everything and then remove that one. Uh, I'm on the wrong side, okay. Doesn't matter too much. Let's see. Could have. It's already empty. There we go. Done. Gets us a little bit of money back, which is good. We have something here. Yes, we do. That's a decent amount of slurry. Uh, let's check the other one. Is some manure, but we don't produce that much manure yet. Uh, wrong side. Yep. Let's try this. Okay, 22,396 liters of slurry. Good, that can be converted into uh, digi state. Digi state is it? Not digi. Digi is something else. Digital. Uh, you're almost done on that field, then you can go to the next field on top there. Yeah, that's fine. Finished work. That's probably our um, herbicide sprayer, I would guess. It's not dropping very quickly. Uh, it takes its time to unload. 
A little bit surprised about that, but... And there we go. So we should uh, bring our sprayer to the outfield. Needs to do, do some uh, herbs control over there. That one is also almost ready. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, things to do on the farm again. Oh, you need to do a little bit more here. Very well. So, you know what? Let's uh, turn around here. simply drop you here that's the, the spot where you need to be the next time I guess there we go so let's uh, pick up that you're still with a running engine let's turn that off where are you there you are yep. okay 1132 liters left we need to go to this direction finished work yes you can go to the next field pretty soon after we set up this one Oh, this is barley here. This was barley for the pigs, I think. Half field. And then we have the three-quarter field for the chickens. And then we have another field of barley over there. Just for the flour mill. The grain mill. So let me see. Where is the oats? Is that this one? I think it might be... No, that's all. This is uh, the wheat. That's all that. Uh, that herbs in there. Yeah, this field has uh, a lot of green stuff in there that doesn't need to be green. The only green we want to see is our uh, our oats, and nothing else. First waypoint course generate. Yeah, you can find your way here. That's not a problem. Let's go to the other guy that was finished. You. Excellent. Let's uh, remove this. You can do the field on top there. something like this would be okay oh no too close to uh, the border of the field again let's uh, move out a little bit into the field something like this that's fine there you go now let's pick up our truck there you are Start the engine first, you were still running, okay. So let's pick up our tipper here. Trailer, uh, where is it? The grey one. Well, we could do the milk first, why not? I'm not sure where it is, uh, need to check that. that again there we go so let's see what we can do here
3000 just over 3000 liters in this one okay the other one probably a little bit more yeah the cows need to be uh, mature before they give milk just a little bit further something like this let's see yeah, we have 4,688. Okay. That will be spread onto the different factories now. Done. Um, well, it doesn't matter too much where we put you. Let's drop you here for now. Seems to be the right spot. Let's see if I can find my... Uh, oh, there it is. Let's say my grey tipper for the manure. Yeah, grey on grey. It's a little bit uh, camouflaged. That's only 900 liters. That's not much. Uh, there's definitely more in here. Just over 6,000. It makes a total of 7,156. I think we already can apply uh, some digistate on this field if we have the, the equipment for it because everything is in use at the moment and I think we need a decent horsepower truck or truck uh, tractor for it There we go, that's the manure. Let's have a quick look. No, not you. Uh, uh, over here. No, this one. Slurry tanks. 300 horsepower. So our... Okay, that's good. That means that our medium tractor can do it. And then the big boys can focus on planting and oh no wait a minute you are planting over there aren't you the the small truck is or oh, the small tractor is uh, doing the herbicide so that ain't gonna work that's only a 200 horsepower tractor that ain't gonna fit Let's put you back here. It's a nice enough spot. There we go. Okay, well, I guess uh, we're close to 40 minutes now. Let's uh, leave it at this. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And hopefully until the next time. Bye for now. <laughs>